So, uh, robots are doing uh, gangbusters uh, on farming and mining and um, exploration, and uh, we've spoken about that in depth at former Gadgetoffs. So I wanted to say at least uh, something about the old days, uh, that uh, these are uh, Grand Challenge racers, which puts us the whole way back in 2005, and by now that's very antique uh, technology. Uh, they are autonomous, they do sense and do a darn good job of driving and uh, knowing where each other um, is going. Uh, but it is pretty simple-minded stuff that uh, uh, drives from A to B, just gets down the road, uh, does it well. Uh, uh, I should mention, uh, because uh, people asked earlier, well, why the heck wouldn't one of these have won? And uh, what occurred was that a flexible fuel line uh, kinked uh, during the competition at about mile 30 while it was uh, uh, well ahead and uh, was stretching out there. But as I say, those are the old days, and uh, those were very, uh, uh, very uh, narrow vision systems that didn't look very much left and right, but mostly down the road, since that's where they were traveling. And that was good enough to get the job done. And then um, uh, what's going on these days, uh, actually not these days, uh, five weeks from now, uh, are these machines that uh, now sense in all directions, including behind, as well as uh, left and right. So you'll see these uh, scans that are very long distance and um, uh, look all directions at intersections. And even though that's the part that the, you can see, the tougher part of the technology is uh, the part that's planning and doing the behaviors and uh, making its way through town. So I wanted to say a word or two about these uh, mining mine machines. Um, that uh, about 5,000 miners die in China each year. Uh, two months ago, it's kind of old robot news now, but two months ago, uh, robots in mine were the big thing. And uh, that this is a, a robot I view going through the mine and, uh, uh, of course, there is no opportunity for GPS, and there's no opportunity for communication, so it's an absolute autonomy, and you can't send a AAA truck. And then these same circumstances show up in everything from uh, caves to bunkers to sewers to rescues. And uh, that... Uh, this class of machine is uh, now quite evolved uh, from uh, these early movies. By the way, this is the very first movie from the very first autonomous mapping that's uh, also now quite an antique. It's three, three years ago. Uh, I wanted to uh, at least give a quick look at uh, how it, uh, Sent, it plans while it's sensing, while it's driving. And of course, it generally doesn't know what it's going to encounter. So it's also solving uh, a network problem uh, as it discovers how all that's uh, connected. Most good robot movies are quite boring because they just go on and on and on and on. Uh, one that isn't stale yet is uh, announced two weeks ago, and that is um, uh, Google Prize for the Moon. This is uh, a, a literal photograph from the moon. And uh, in those craters, many times there are tough lighting troubles. And then uh, in the polar regions, you can actually uh, pick up um, light that's coming in horizontally and pick up some extremely long exposures, measured in month, and very um, moderate temperature conditions. So uh, robots for that region are pretty straightforward if you can get there. And then um, there's some tough terrain that comes with it. 
So what you have to do is get something that's good for the terrain and good for the lighting and then a way to get it there. And something like this uh, might do the trick. The thought is to create a device, give us another look at it here, which is um, combined as a robot and a spacecraft so that the thing that flies is the thing that lands, is the thing that roves, is the thing that powers the whole way out there, and it's one computer for all. And I'm thinking about something maybe the size of the chair or the size of the podium. Uh, and then what you need is something, uh, that watermelon looking thing to slow down when you get there. And then a bigger watermelon to uh, get you out there. And then to uh, get a ride. Anyway, um, that's first prototype. Actually, uh, you know, people who know me well uh, know that uh, I'm actually not bored with these things. I actually am kind of jazzed. Anyway, that's a couple of, uh, couple of new ones for this year. Thanks for having me. Thank you.